Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shwebe Madaru, again here with another informative video related to the power electronics and the metal simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the single phase half wave control rectifier or the SCR on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiments, let's discuss some few points regarding the single phase half wave control rectifier or the SCR. The thyristor or the silicon control rectifier is a four layer device. It has the three terminals, anode, cathode and the gate. Like a diode, it blocks the current in the forward direction until a suitable gate pulse is applied between the gate and the cathode of the SCR or the thyristor. The diode rectifier provides a fixed output voltage only. To obtain control output voltages, the phase control thyristors are used instead of using the diodes. A phase control SCR or the thyristor is turned on by applying a short pulse to its gate terminal and turned off due to the natural all line commutation. During the positive off cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the thyristor anode is positive with respect to its cathode and the thyristor will set to be in the forward bias condition. When thyristor is fired, at omega t is equal to the alpha, the thyristor t conducts and input voltage will appear across the load side. When AC input supply voltage is start to be negative, at omega t is equal to the pi, up to the omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the thyristor anode is negative with respect to its cathode and the thyristor t is said to be in the reverse bias condition and it is turned off. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let's do the MATLAB simulation of the single phase of wave control rectifier. Uh, dear viewers, our main objective is to implement this circuit diagram of the single phase half wave control rectifier on the MATLAB software. So this circuit consists of a single phase AC supply voltage and the SCR. As you can see this SCR has the three terminals the anode, cathode and the gate and also the load resistor which is connected with this circuit. Okay. So now you can see these are the input sinusoidal waveform okay and this is the DC control output voltage waveform in the case of the single phase half wave control rectifier. So now during the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage the thyristor anode is positive with respect to its cathode and thyristor is set to be the forward bias. When this thyristor is fired at omega t is equal to the alpha so thyristor t starts conducting the current okay and input voltage will appear across this load side now during the negative off cycle of the ac input supply voltage from omega t is equal to the pi to the omega t is equal to the 2 pi the thyristor is set to be the reverse bias and the output voltage is zero during this omega t is equal to the pi up to that omega t is equal to the 2 pi time period. So therefore, by changing the value of this firing angle alpha, the output voltage can be controlled in the case of the single phase half wave control rectifier connected with this resistive load. So dear viewers, we have to implement this single phase half wave control rectifier circuit diagram connected with the resistive load on the MATLAB software. So now go to the power library. Okay. So we need the AC voltage source, okay. We need the transformer. Also we need the ground. Okay. And also we need the voltage measurement. Also we need the thyristor. Okay. Also, we need the display box. Also, we need the root mean square value block. Okay. Now. Assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram. Okay. Now connect the AC voltage source to the winding one of this transformer. Okay. So that can be called as the primary winding. Connect the ground with the negative terminal of the AC supply voltage. Make a two winding transformer. Apply. Okay. So now if we want to measure the voltage across the primary side of the transformer. So by connecting the voltmeter in the parallel across this primary winding of the transformer. So this would give us the primary voltage 
of the transformer okay so now here the purpose of this transformer here in this circuit is to provide the isolation between this power circuit and this converter circuit and also it is used to step down the level of the voltage okay also we need the load resistor okay make it r uh, apply okay so now connect the anode and the cathode of this thyristor with the load and the second rewinding of this transformer okay so now we need another voltmeter so this voltmeter would give us the dc output control voltage in the case of the single phase half wave control rectifier okay now change the scope parameters make it two number of the ports okay so now connect this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across this load resistor okay with the second port of this uh, scope so this second port of this is oscilloscope would give us the dc output control voltage in the case of the single phase half wave control rectifier and connect the first port of this oscilloscope before the thyristor so this would give us the input sinusoidal voltage waveform okay also we need this pulse generator now the function of this pulse generator here in this uh, circuit is to provide the firing angle to this thyristor or the scr so now change the parameters of the circuit go to the transformer 5 e power 3 parent power frequency 50 hertz winding one voltage 440 volts winding to 220 volts okay apply okay give the 440 volts to the primary winding of the transformer frequency 50 hertz change the frequency of the rms block make it 50 hertz okay and resistance is 100 ohm okay so now our first objective of this experiment is to apply the firing angle to the gate of this thyristor or the scr at alpha is equal to the 45 degree then this thyristor t conducts the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor so now how to set the firing angle of this SCR in the MATLAB so go to the pulse generator okay select the amplitude one so period in the second our frequency is 50 hertz so 1 over 50 is equal to 0 0.02 because frequency and the time are inversely proportional to each other okay 0 0.02 seconds pulse width is 1 okay so now how to calculate the phase delay of the SCR in the MATLAB so by applying the formula alpha divided by 360 multiplied by 0 0.02 so our alpha here is the 45 degree okay divided by 360 degree and uh, multiplied by 0 0.02 is the time period in the second apply okay so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation and observe the results of the dc output controlled voltage waveform in the case of the single phase half wave control rectifier when alpha is equal to the 45 degree or the phase delay is equal to 0 0.0025 in seconds run the simulation and observe the results so now this yellow waveform is the input sinusoidal voltage waveform okay and this blue waveform is the dc output control voltage waveform when alpha is equal to the 45 degree or phase delay is equal to the 0 0.0025 in seconds during the positive off cycle of the ac input supply voltage the thyristor anode is positive with respect to its cathode and the thyristor is set to be in the forward bias so when this thyristor or scr is fired when alpha is equal to the 45 degree so this thyristor t starts conducting and input voltage will appear across this load when ac input voltage is starts to be negative at omega t is equal to the pi 
up to the omega t is equal to the 2 pi so the thyristor anode is negative with respect to its cathode so in this condition the thyristor is said to be in the reverse bias and it is turned off or naturally commutated so now our second objective is to apply again the firing angle to the gate of this thyristor or the scr when alpha is equal to the 90 degree so again the thyristor t starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load side so now go to the pulse generator setting change the value of the alpha here alpha is equal to 90 degree okay apply okay so now run the simulation and observe the results of the DC output controlled voltage waveform okay when alpha is equal to the 90 degree or the phase delay in terms of second is that uh, 0 0.005 run the simulation so now this yellow waveform is the input sinusoidal voltage waveform and this blue waveform is the DC output controlled voltage waveform when alpha is equal to the 90 degree or phase delay is equal to the 0 0.005 seconds. Now during the positive off cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the thyristor anode is positive with respect to its cathode and the thyristor is said to be in the forward bias condition. When thyristor gate is fired, when alpha is equal to the 90 degree, okay, the thyristor T starts conduct the current and input voltage is appear across this load side. When AC input voltage starts to be negative from omega T is equal to the pi up to the omega T is equal to the 2 pi, so the thyristor anode is negative with respect to its cathode so in this condition the thyristor is said to be in the reverse bias condition and it is turned off or naturally commutated so dear viewers this was the simulation of the single phase of wave control rectifier that we have done on the matlab software. So dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the single phase half wave control rectifier that we have done on the matlab software in which we have observed the results of the input sinusoidal voltage waveform and output DC controlled voltage waveform at different firing angles using oscilloscope before and after the half wave control rectification. I hope that you have understand the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madar for more informative videos related to the electronics, power electronics and the electrical engineering area. Thank you.